Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to You Always Win. I'm Niels Hansen, aka Brother Guns, Guns for Hire, Douche, or whatever you want to call me, it's all good. And I'm here to talk about Conan Exiles, a brand new open world survival game from Funcom. The game is currently available on Steam via Early Access for $29.99, or $30 basically, and is planned to be released on the Xbox One in the spring of 2017, as well as the PlayStation 4, but that date is to be determined at this point. Keep in mind, if you're going to get it now on Steam, because it is Early Access, the whole whole point of this is kind of a beta testing. There's going to be glitches, there's going to be bugs. If you come across them, you know, follow Funcom or Conan Exiles on Twitter or Facebook and report them. Let them fix them because that's the whole point. Don't just sit there like, this game is broken. Well, yeah, it's early access. There's going to be bugs. You know, it's not broken. There's going to be bugs and glitches and stuff like that. But if you find them, report it to Funcom so that they can make this game even better before it comes out on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I look at it as a privilege. You know, we get to, to get in there and yeah, you know, you're still paying the price and everything like that. However, you're getting the game early and it is very playable at this point. If you're subscribed to us here on You Always Win, you know that me, Wagon, and myself absolutely love open world survival games like Ark, Rust, Seven Days to Die, Stomping Land, Osiris, games like that. We love the ability to explore the worlds at our own pace and create our own unique adventure experience. Now, some open world survival games focus more on PvP or player versus player, you know, like uh, DayZ or H1Z1. And then there's other games, kind of like Seven Days to Die, that provide amazing player versus environment or PvE experiences. And then there's games like Conan Exiles that look to satisfy both types of gameplay. There's so many ways that you can play this game. You can host a local server, which is what Meat Wagon and I do, where it allows you to play solo, like on your own system, or even inv invite a friend, you know, as long as they've got internet, you just invite them into your game and they can play along with you. Or you can play on a public or private online server and experience gameplay with people from around the world, which is, you know, very common. And in addition to that, you select whether it's gonna be PVP or PVE. There's so many different options to have fun on this game. I think the potential for it is just amazing. Amazing. Media and myself really like playing open world survival games, but we enjoy them in the PvE format, the player versus environment. We're not big fans of having other online players constantly slaughtering newbies, including ourselves, as soon as we join the lobby, equipped only with our fists and our junk hanging out. It becomes frustrating. Now there are some really well-known open world survival games out there that have great characteristics and in gameplay, including a, a refined crafting system, beautiful environments to explore, but then they offer very little in terms of creatures or AI for players that enjoy PvE. In Conan Exiles, they offer a well-thought-out crafting system, skill tree for personal attributes, beautiful and vast environments to explore, as well as a ton of creatures and bandit AI tribesmen for those that really enjoy the player versus environment type of game. What I think is really going to set this game apart is the fact that it isn't just another survival game where you roam around collecting items, building stuff, and fighting creatures. It's not a true story-based game either, but the developers have created lore for Conan Exiles. This is like giving the game a soul without focusing or requiring players to follow a pre-scripted linear path. As you explore the brutal lands, you'll be able to uncover knowledge and secrets of an ancient civilization that once occupied the world. Now, I don't know exactly how the lore can or will impact the overall gameplay, but the developers have mentioned that some of these secrets appear to be instructions for their subjects. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to uncover ancient knowledge that would allow you to decimate your foes with magic. Oh yeah, they're going to be adding a ton of new features as time goes on, including a sorcery system that will enable you to use magic. Awesome! Melee and ranged weapons, crafting, building, exploring, fighting, powerful magic, and a rich history? Let's just say I'm extremely hopeful for this game to potentially be the best survival game of 2017. If you guys want to see what this game is actually like, we're going to be posting our very first gameplay of Conan Exiles here on You Always Win Saturday. So that'll be tomorrow on this channel. You don't want to miss it. Again, you know, as we're exploring, we're kind of fumbling about, there's not a lot of uh, information or, 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 you know, instruction out there, but we're having a blast playing it. We really hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of Conan Exiles tomorrow, remember to hit that like button. And again, if you want to help out, you want to play this game $29.99 US on Steam right now early access hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did hit the like button we greatly appreciate the support